It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden, and this is 5.45 Live. Tonight, police take on a new unlikely suspect. They're headed uh, after the Teacher of the Year from last year. We'll also uh, get some shum footage in there, as we often do, and we'll talk about longtime rep Sarah Edwards as she announces uh, this is her last go-round up in Montpelier. All that and more, and I'm going to do it in 15 minutes. Really, I'm going to do it in, like, three. So stick around here on 5.45 Live. Hold on, let me put the glasses on. So stick around here on 545 Live. We'll have U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders and Vermont Attorney General William Sorrell speaking in defense of Vermont's right and economic responsibility to retire the Vermont Yankee nuclear reactor now. Join citizens from across New England for the rally to support Vermont and defend democracy on Saturday, April 14th from noon to 2 p.m. At the Brattleboro Common in Brattleboro, Vermont. Welcome back to this March 11th, 2012 edition of 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyden. We'll get right into the stories as we're going to try and do this as a very short webcast. Leland and Gray's valued Chinese teacher and Vermont Teacher of the Year for 2012 was charged with a misdemeanor count of retail theft this passing Monday. Police say that Tong J. Chen walked out of the Bennington Price Trapper with $70 worth of unpaid groceries and when confronted by police, Chen said that she did not know why she didn't pay for the items and that she had the money to pay for them. Chen has been teaching at Leland and Gray Union High School for six years and along with being the only teacher in Vermont to be certified to give the AP Chinese exam, she was selected this past September to be the Vermont Teacher of the Year for 2012. Chen has pleaded not guilty to stealing from the local price chapter. And now uh, we've got footage of her at that 2012 ceremony in Townsend shot by one Joe Bushy. Let's take a look. Being awarded is not what I entered education for, but this honor is incredible. It speaks volumes about the quality education here at Leland and Gray, and I am very proud to represent the school, this community, and the state of Vermont as 2012 Teacher of the Year. All right, moving on. Longtime Brattleboro District 3 rep Sarah Edwards announced that she would not be seeking a re-election for uh, a seat in Montpelier. The big news here on 545 Live, though, operations manager Vlasta Papelka for BCTV has just announced that she will be seeking that seat. We've got our uh, second camera unit live in BCTV's downtown studios to talk to her. Vlasta. Boston, when did you first decide that you were going to be uh, running for Sarah Edwards' recently vacated <laughs> seat? Pepsi. That would be the best joke ever. Well, instant retraction. Apparently, she uh, is not seeking that seat. Anyway, here's the great Sarah Edwards when she was in BCTV studios at the start of this and what uh, will be her last uh, legislative session. That's a dialogue, a deliberation. Exactly. We throw words around. We try to get what each other are mean is meaning. Right, exactly. And what, what we vote on is the paper and what the the words say what is in the bill moving on uh, it was a warm winter and weather's only getting warmer which might mean that the Wyndham County heat fund isn't in people's mind but they're still looking to pay their bills uh, with lie heap funding getting slashed to the max Daryl Pillsbury and Richard Davis founders of the Wyndham County heat fund have been working overtime uh, to bring heat to those in need they still need help paying the bills from this last winter where they helped over 60 families stay warm now Richard Davis was out of town normally he he and Daryl would interview together with the both of us, but instead we sat down with Daryl Pillsbury and Daryl Pillsbury. In the first year we raised like $13,000 and helped like 30 families. And then we said, uh-oh, we think we're on something here, so <laughs> we're going to have to continue um, doing this. So now we're in our seventh year. Um, we've been lucky enough to raise probably well, anywhere around $200,000 and help probably 550, 600 families stay warm. And to wrap up for 545 Live, what would an episode be without a little bit of shem? Today we're launching Green Up Recovery. Not as a single day that we become used to in Vermont, but as an ongoing effort. In our e in an ongoing effort to clean up Vermont and leave it better than the way Irene found us. Now you don't have to look far to see the damage. Right in back of us. If anyone's looking for used tires, we got it. 
Well, that just about does it here on 545 Live. Uh, but jazz going on at the Cotton Mill. Plenty more going on downtown. Check it out at iBrattleRow.com if you want to find out what's going on. There's also plenty coming up on BCTV. If you want to check out the schedule for Channels 8, that's this here channel, and Channel 10, that's all at BrattleBroTV.org. Uh, you can find plenty more there, including live streaming for this and all local programs there as well. All right. That's a full lid. We'll be back Friday, though, and we'll gear up more for that Brooks House anniversary piece as we gather more more footage, more interviews that'll show uh, this coming Wednesday, uh, which is a week from today, all right here on Channel 8 at 5.45 p.m. In the meantime, for BCTV and 5.45 Live, I'm Roland Boyden. Thanks to Operations Manager Vlasta Papelka, who helps us keep it all together here and who is apparently not running for uh, the U.S. District 3 rep seat after all. Uh, thanks to Nolan Edgar, our intern, who's carrying a MacBook and this here camera right now uh, to uh, help ensure that this Live on the Street show goes smoothly and I actually make it seem like I know what I'm talking about to our content specialists, Paige Martin, Maria Dominguez, Ian Keel, Frederick Noyes, and everybody else that makes 545 Live a delightful little ditty. Thanks for uh, all you do. Thanks, viewers, for checking in. Night, everybody. And to wrap up for 545 Live, what would an episode be without a little bit of show? I don't know what he's... I have no idea what he's talking about. I'll just try it again. Okay. What do you... Do you remember? Oh, it's blinking. Does that mean we're out of? Where are we gonna put this thing? <laughs> Here we go. That'll work. Does that look like I'm wearing some weird, like, bulletproof vest? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, I feel like I should be filming you, like, <laughs> filming me for a second, just so we. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> this is our teleprompter. High-tech teleprompter. All right.